SmackDown <laughs> April 15th, 2004, boys. We're taking yes, it back is, yes. 16 years. You don't got it. Can you not? Dude, you did this last time. Did you see the comments on YouTube? I saw the comments. Everyone was not happy. <laughs> to be so fair. Is older than I am. What the To be hell? fair here. Yes. 16 is better than like 20 something. So like. Yeah, I, get, I mean, true. we're getting closer <sighs> to the age range. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot Yikes. of people here are, we're, we're getting to the point where they probably grew up on this. Um, There's no way any of these youngsters know about Rico Constantine. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even remember who won the Great American Award. <laughs> <laughs> to Steve Blackman's music. <laughs> <laughs> <That ruled. laughs> All right, yes. so let's kick this off here. So we started off this show. We had a last week on WWE SmackDown. They did this yes. a lot back then. That that was. Uh, I loved. I mean, I'm all about it, honestly. Yeah, it, it made the shows seem like they mattered to each other. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, like you are supposed to remember what happened. Yeah, that was awesome. They actually played uh, a promo throughout the show for RVD and Booker T a hundred times. They're like, do you remember these segments? Do you remember these segments? They were building that matchup like crazy, honestly. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in a minute, but. Uh, it started off with last week on WWE SmackDown, and then it showed <laughs> Kurt Angle's Great American Awards segment. Yes. It came up with WWF.com via Netscape. <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, John Cena decimated this. I don't even know if these numbers are true or not, but John Cena had 280,000 votes. <laughs> this was the, many, the, the dot com polls, right? Yeah. How yeah, many yeah. did Charlie Haas get? Yeah, like 18,000. <laughs> How do you John even get that Cena many? deleted Charlie Haas. The <laughs> the second bet it was John Cena at two hundred and eighty thousand, and the second best was Booker T at sixty five thousand. Oh that is God. such a discrepancy. It's I mean, crazy. That just shows how fucking over John was, man. That's crazy. He was. He was huge, and he was just the U.S. champion at this time. He wasn't yeah. like he wasn't even halfway to where he was about to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, yeah. So uh, was was the music they played in this promo? Is this did they dub this with Steve Blackman's music, or do you think this Maybe. is actually Steve Blackman's theme used for this? I don't think they. There's no way because like they weren't even that far removed from Steve Blackman that's what at I'm this saying. point. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. like, damn, disrespect them to me. There's no <laughs> way. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, they showed a couple of more segments here. Uh, JBL went to the border and did Border Patrol. This was before the Judgment Day match with Eddie. He had quite uh, the line on this one too. What he say? He uh, he said, "You better tell your Mexican family they better stay in Mexico." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, JBL. Kurt, Ang Kurt Angle heard that line and said, you're the greatest American <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, so JBL, after going to the border and doing Border Patrol, wins the Great American Award. And he <laughs> definitely was not anywhere near no. the top of that list. No. Um, I think he was like third or fourth down there, but Kurt Angle made an executive decision, and JBL <laughs> won the Great American Award. Kurt Angle swerved us all. The winner is John <laughs> Bradshaw Lapier. <laughs> oh, that delivery was good. That, that was, was good, really yeah. good delivery. So Kurt's got this award. He goes to give the award to JBL, but look at that. Eddie stole it, and he replaced it with a scuffed trophy with his face on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a shitty trophy, and it's a picture of Eddie Guerrero, and Eddie comes out on the low rider, and he's got the real trophy. Yeah, that was cool. And he's like, they were really going crazy. Give me that trophy. He's like, no, I'm not giving you the trophy. Give me the trophy. It's like, damn, they really want that trophy. I love, I love GM Kurt Angle. I don't know how long it goes on for, but I, I have... Fond memories of Kurt as GM. Yeah, the little suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks. There's. I mean, it's, I feel like a little bit after this. I mean, we obviously we'll get into it, but Kurt's like standing next to JBL, and he looks like he's three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He looks like a little baby because they're at the top so of the ramp. Tiny. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they try to get the get... the trophy back from Eddie here, and it's just. It yeah. ain't happening. You know how trophies go. Yeah. If there's a trophy, it's going to get destroyed. And then we get the intro. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that song fucking rules. I, this must have been early on of them using this because I don't remember Bob Holly staring at me so much in this fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even on the show and he was in half the intro. <laughs> and jeans. <laughs> I mean, that shit ruled. <laughs> Speaking I of mean, rules, I I miss the fucking, the like motion graphics, bro. I really yes. do. Yeah, yes. they, they're really cool. They did this throughout the whole show, the motion graphics. Yeah, um, they I did love, it for like, every promo. But yeah, it was awesome. I do, I will say though, uh, the font that they used here, I fucking hated this font. The weird, like, cursive connect every letter thing. I thought oh, it was yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the the graphics themselves 
are not great. I feel I, like yeah, I'm nostalgic for them just because yeah. I. Mm. Here comes the pain and just like everything. That's was like exactly that. what I think. Here comes the pain. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the video games kind of chalk that up for me. Like sure. to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I guess this at this point, uh, Brock Lesnar had been gone. I feel like he's he was gone this, at this point. Yeah, this was one month after WrestleMania 20. So yeah, so he, oh, okay. he, he pieced out. Um, this still they're still kind of like trying to, I guess, fill that hole that that Lesnar kind of left yeah, there for him. Which is um, tough because he was everything to that show. Yes. Yeah. SmackDown was the Brock Lesnar show. I mean, he literally yeah. killed everyone. They put. I mean, like that's like the, maybe yeah. one of the last times that like Vince truly went all out on a character. I agree. I mean, um, even when we were just talking about the video game. Like he was the first guy that they changed the SmackDown titles from a Rock thing to somebody else. Yeah, and uh, I mean, what can you say? I mean, he literally went over everybody. <laughs> he did every <laughs> bro, Rumble, King of the Ring, every title. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that's like in a three year span. Yeah, it's weird thinking about that because yeah, you're right. He did win everything, and he won it all in six months. <laughs> so like, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Um, nice. and then he just killed everybody else after that. So yeah, and he never looked weak either. They never booked him to look weak, or you know, he he never really got too much of a comeuppance. He was always just the guy in that regard yeah um i mean his stuff with eddie was cool too i mean eddie was just eddie eddie kind of filled that spot for them he kind of became that guy mm -hmm. after brock left um he was over like fucking rover too like yeah, he, he was. eddie was like the fans loved fucking eddie like i mean even here eddie's not like this eddie promo so eddie cuts a promo here he comes out he's got the title and all um he's kind of promo on jbl and like he's not like saying anything groundbreaking but the crowd's fucking eating it up like they're loving everything. Yeah, that I he actually put out. wrote down. I was like, this was kind of like a rocky promo. I feel like Eddie wasn't even saying anything. He yeah, was I just kind of. No, yeah. I felt like it was very heavily edited. Like there was points where I swear they like cut they it just down. Cut shit out. Yeah, You're yeah. Right, and right. then they they, yeah. they 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 did the SmackDown. The thing I hate the most with the crowd noises and oh the air the the hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did do that a lot. They did they that, that throughout this whole show, though. Yeah. That was just SmackDown. That was just at that the was just Smack. It was because it's tape show. Yeah, they did that shit all the fucking time. I did like the promo about JBL being a capitalist pig piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude, Eddie's cutting this fucking promo, and then they play a JBL like political smear campaign against Eddie <laughs> as he's cutting the promo right in the yeah. middle of it. Just like right you know, how, it, like usually they show him on the Tron, but it just like. Dude, just cut right away and then Dude, I, play. I, I was almost like scared because they said it was I I swear in my head I heard the following announcement has been paid for oh, no, no, no. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Another retro view now. No, go we away, Arn Anderson with your water bottle. Oh, not the water <laughs> bottle for eight minutes. <laughs> Yeah, this was good. Uh, this was good. I like the JBL thing. The the, the JBL I like the way ruled. they did it, like right yeah. in the middle of his promo, because then Eddie yeah. was like, "This always happens. Why does this always happen?" Ah, <laughs> oh, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly what it was. Um, so that, after the, the the JBL promo plays, and then Eddie yes. keeps cutting the same nonsensical promo about yeah, he nothing. just doesn't stop. He said, "This is what always happens." I'm gonna finish the promo this time, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kurt Angle comes out afterwards because he's the general manager and he yes. said I'm gonna make Eddie versus JBL tonight and then he says never mind I'm not doing that <laughs> I'll make says, that for judgment day fuck you yeah JBL comes out and convinces him uh, to not do that because JBL is JBL his excuse really so Eddie challenges JBL to a match tonight Kurt comes out and says okay so JBL comes out after uh, and he tells Kurt that he's too tired to wrestle, and he says, I'm sleepy right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Kurt goes, well, I damn, sleepy. son. <laughs> <laughs> so Kurt says, you know what? You're right. He cancels the match and makes it for Judgment Day. Uh, but Eddie Guerrero will still wrestle tonight, and you will take on the Big Show. Wait. Oh, no. Everybody goes crazy. No, not the Big Show. Not the Big Show. Yeah, and that, they were really I, putting him over here. They were, like, crazy putting him over. I would never want to face the Big Show. Yeah, I, I, like I, it, this definitely felt like an episode they put together specifically to build up the big show and then kill him off in the same show. <laughs> yeah, because in 45 minutes, he's crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, uh, before we move on to the next thing, Eddie Guerrero's shirt here is an all-timer. Do you know he one? I don't, yeah, I don't know why I don't own that. It's such a good it's, shirt. I, I'll be honest with you, it's an all-timer, and I'm not even kidding. I think it's an all-timer because of the games, and I'm not even kidding. You know, Honestly, you're probably not wrong. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... 
I personally like the rose Latino Heat shirt more. I like that one too. But, but I, I feel yeah. like I, asso I associate that with like a different era of him. Yeah, well, my favorite Eddie era is mullet, fucking sure. skinnier, uh, like rose. You no Eddie. respect uh, for the Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler shirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have that shirt. Your role too. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah, I actually have the Eddie Guerrero what? as my favorite wrestler. Yeah, the airbrush oh joint. I have that. God, that shirt is rules, bro. Yeah, um, Eddie's one of my favorite wrestlers ever. Uh, yeah. And this Judgment Day match was really good with JBL. Um, is that they were the, bleeding. Is that, <laughs> you know, oh, it is. Oh, oh. so it's the, it's the chair show one. Yeah, yeah. They were bleeding, yeah, eight, bleeding. That's here. a nine on the Muda scale. Yeah, it's crazy. JBL's gimmick here is basically just uh, he's uh, Make America Great Again guy. <laughs> he's Trump. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's, I mean that's yes. That, even from the political, like the the video they did, I was like, wow, this is a Trump video. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Trump just like copied this. Stole this man's yeah, whole flow, bar for bar. Shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trump has just scuffed JBL, man. This is crazy. Uh, <laughs> At least JBL true. gigged what? on occasion. Like, Trump, like yeah, bro. He, yeah, he threw a clothesline, too. Yeah, you know? sheesh. What's this guy? Uh, What's Trump ever done? How, who's Trump <laughs> <laughs> He drinks water. It's cool. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> so uh, oh. later on in the evening, we get uh, Eddie versus Big Show. Um, we go backstage. Big Show meets up with Kurt Angle. And Big Show is looking... Uh, big Show looking big. <laughs> big Show is a big guy. Dude, he like... When he walked into this office... Also, it's a it's Kurt Angle's GM office with a big picture of Kurt Angle in it. <laughs> that rules. <laughs> yes. That shit's awesome. Uh, big Show walks in and like... He could not... Like, he sh he had to have wanted to be anywhere else but there at that moment. Like, he did not look like he wanted to wrestle. He didn't want to do any of the shit. He was over it. His knee was probably fucking killing him. Dude, that big show goatee is just... <laughs> his hair. Dude, his hair. <laughs> yeah. He rolled out of bed and put on the straps. I wonder <laughs> if they did like all the SmackDown and stuff and they like retaped this and Big Show's like, ah, oh, shit. I gotta redo this thing again. <laughs> I gotta flip this car again. <laughs> I feel like this was the time period where Vince like really was pushing him. He's like, we need you to be Andre the Giant. Yeah, and he and well, again, I, like you said, because Brock is gone, he needs somebody. But Big Show is just not in well, any like condition they, to yeah. be a top guy. I mean, guy. he's beat up, he's injured, he's yeah. and, and like he was pushing to be Andre. He's got the one strap singlet here. <laughs> he showed um, did he? I seriously probably think he told him like you got to get bigger. I seriously think that's probably what happened. Vince was like, you have to get. Big you got eight. <laughs> yeah, because he eight. was. I mean, Big Show <laughs> will tell you he was eating here. Yeah. He was um, definitely over 500 pounds at this point. Oh, easily. And he was, you could tell he was exhausted just walking, just being, just so, hanging out. Yeah. Big Show uh, comes in the office and he says he's not doing this for, for JBL or Kurt. And he tells them both to shut their pie holes. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd popped huge for this, by the way. Yeah, he did it too. Shut your pie hole. And then he looks at Kurt and says the same thing. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. And the crowd popped uh, twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> And then Big Show, uh, <laughs> the hair dryers are crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he says, "I'm, he says, I'm, I'm doing this for me." And he says, "You know what? If I lose, I quit." Whoa, <laughs> shit, Big well, Man. Good. Well, well, Big Show, first, <laughs> yeah, first really. Big Show comes in and goes, "This is for the title, right?" And Angle's like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, it wasn't. I thought it was for the title. No, he, he asks. He goes, "Is this a title match?" And Kurt Angle goes, "No." Yeah, you <laughs> <any> lesson. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah, Asshole. Big Show is just, you can just tell he's over every piece of this He was shit. ready to I, I fully fight. expected yeah. him to just lay down and let him pin him. Just whatever, <laughs> bro. Just get It's me a out long here. match, too, surprisingly, with a lot of Big Show offense. Oh, oh, man. So this is like the one bad thing about, um, like, this time period, like, towards this end of this time period, towards the next, like, five years or so. Yeah. A lot of the weekly matches were the same match with different people in them. And it's just like... Yeah, Oof. just heat, heat, mm -hmm. heat, and sit on them. Yeah, just yeah. dude. Come lay, on. Yeah, just lay on them for seven minutes. We'll go to commercial. We'll come back. Lay on them some more, and then the baby face will get us to come up. And, yeah, everyone. They would there. always sit on them for a commercial, and then they come back, yeah. and it's like, dude, this is just so fucking boring. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> like, some of these yeah. guys like weren't. Oh goodness, they got like, better later guy, on. Even but. a guy like Eddie, like you can't. There's only so much you can do to make that feel different, you know? Yeah. Uh, we go to John Cena versus Chavo Guerrero. Chavo Guerrero is the cruiserweight champion. John Cena is the United States champion, and Chavo has Chavo Guerrero Senior with him. Yes, he wasn't Chavo, Chavo Classic. He I wasn't mean. Chavo Classic yet, but Chavo Classic is such a sick name. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, John Cena was the Doctor of Thugonomics, which is yes. 
God, it is the embodiment of 2004. You could it's, literally have not created a better <laughs> gimmick for 2004 than this gimmick right here. Yeah. Like, if you thought of the year 2004 and then put it into a ball, it would be John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. He said, my F you was automatic like jump shots from Reggie Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Reggie Miller oh. reference. And then he does the, he does the, he does the thing. Yeah, ball oh, with his wrist <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Oh, but he was, I mean, he was that guy, bro. He was, he was the dude. That, rem that reminded me of a, a Lil B line. Cause Lil B has a song about Reggie Miller too. Call me Gurney. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Reggie Miller. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Lil B said, I'm trapping at a blog and I'm working like a stripper. I swag to the tent, oh. so they call me Reggie Miller. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, hey, Lil B's got steal. bars, man. I'm just saying. Bro, how come everyone was stealing from 2004 SmackDown? I, I don't know, man. That's crazy. I mean, John Cena I, really, he kind of, uh, bumpy knuckles, y'all. <laughs> he really <laughs> fade, fade away, <laughs> bumpy knuckles. The bad, bad man. <laughs> <laughs> trademark. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> 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 I have a trademark. We should get trademark to do songs for DPW. I yes. agree. I think he'd be great. As long as you can get bumpy knuckles with them, that'd be really good. <laughs> <laughs> bumpy knuckles. I love you, bumpy knuckles. I want to see bumpy knuckles wrestle, dude. That's a great wrestling name. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah, bumpy knuckles. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Chavo Guerrero, like I said, has Chavo Guerrero Senior, and he is working, man. He's getting that heat. He's going crazy. Yeah. Um, Cena, like I said, God, they all work the same match. Like a lot of the guys work the same match, and this is and this you know like people wonder how like uh, around this time period ROH and TNA started gaining a lot of traction. It's because because right. of this style. Yeah, it's, fucking TNA and ROH they were very like Smash Mouth, like no nonsense. We're laying it in and we're going, and there's not going to be much rest in between. Chavo Classic hit Cena with his cowboy boot. And they got the commercial. <laughs> I was like, okay. Something cool finally happens. Uh, Chavo locks in the camel clutch at one point, and Taz calls it a Mexican camel clutch, so that's fun. Thanks, Taz. <laughs> Appreciate that, Taz. He's not related, he isn't, he isn't related to the guy that fucking made the move or anything. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Uh, this, I mean, honestly, this this was this was a fine match. They seemingly, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have... Uh, had a problem with them running this back a couple times because I feel like these two had like a little bit of chemistry here. Like mm -hmm. Chavo was doing like weird lucha shit, but Cena was going with it. Cena busted out the throwback, which I feel like I haven't seen in forever. Uh, I didn't know was it he... was called the throwback until this match. Really? really? Yeah, I knew the move because I used to spam it all the time in the games. <laughs> Did but... you never give it to somebody in the games? Because that's no, how I knew it. From, no, I never from it being called that in the games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I got a bunch of people tweeting like, "Yeah, I only knew it because of the game." And I had a bunch of people tweeting too. They said, "I didn't know how to name either." I was like, "Yeah, that's crazy." <laughs> I also was learned. He... I think Christian told me on Twitter. He's like, "The move he does before the five knuckle shuffle, that little power bomb gimmick, or like that back, yeah. that that belly to back that he does, is called the protoplex." Mm -hmm. Oh, was that his finish, his prototype? I don't know if it was his finish. It must be. Uh, it might have been. It, it might have been. But like, yeah, you know how he puts him down with that little side, like the power bomb, weird, like the blue, the half blue thunder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he puts yeah. his hand up. It's time for the five knuckle yeah. shuffle, y'all. Was he yeah. just starting to do the five knuckle shuffle here? Because it looked like he hadn't figured out the landing yet. <laughs> yeah, it was scuffed. He didn't even do the. He, he didn't even do the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You he know where he does up, it. He, yeah. he pumped up the kicks, though. He did pump Dude, up that, the kicks. Dude, that was my favorite thing when I was growing I up. I love that. I did too. <laughs> I was like, man, I really need to get some of these sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pump. <laughs> Mom, Help I need pump. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cena wins with the fuck you. Yeah, like Reggie Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it wrestling. ruled at this point, by the way, because he just dumped motherfuckers on our heads. Yeah, he like, was just throwing. Yeah, there was no follow through. He just dumped you. It was, yeah. it was awesome. You were go, you were going regardless of if you wanted to or not. Yeah, it's f you with like Reggie Miller. So after that, <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they played uh, RVD and Booker T promo. They did this Dude. throughout the show where they were really hyping this up, really hyping this so, match up. The angle is that Booker T got... I guess they just did a draft or something. It must have been real recent. Um, yeah. And Booker T got drafted to SmackDown. And Booker T's gimmick is, fuck SmackDown. I don't want to be on this <laughs> second-rate show. show. This show sucks. I shouldn't be here. And RVD's like, no, bro. Come on. SmackDown's cool. <laughs> Funny and like, no, fuck you. I don't want to be here, bro. <laughs> he kept saying, I'm a raw guy, man. I like it raw. I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> he did say that. Funny enough, yeah. uh, that was also his TNA gimmick. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be a dude. This place sucks. 
Uh, after that, um, Renee Dupree had a vignette with Phoebe <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Renee Bro, Dupree I... was backstage with his dog Phoebe. They're eating dinner together. Him, Phoebe, and a guy playing music for them. So Tony and I were talking about this. I didn't yes. even think about this. Off I the think record. There, I think there's an issue here. I think there's... Uh, I didn't. Re- I mean, maybe this. Re- I don't know if they ever said this. I feel like they're trying to pull the wool over our eyes here. No, they're, I'm they're pretty messing sure, with this. They're I messing think there's. With it. I it's think like there's a multiple. Rib. There's a bunch of Fifi's out here, <laughs> and I think they're trying to make us think that there's one Fifi, and I won't stand for it. Fifi Gate. I want to know where the OG Fifi is. I saw this. Was this gray Fifi here? OG <laughs> Fifi's all in white. There's gray Fifi. I was looking okay. up. He came out with a, a, a all black Fifi <laughs> with Kenzo Suzuki. I don't. What is going on here? Yeah, Someone's like gonna Kenzo. get the original Fifi was white, right? Yes. So, and then they said he got a new hairstyle here, but I think no. they just, they just got a new dog. What if they dyed <laughs> the hair of the dog? No, I refuse to believe it, Pulse. I won't stand for it. I need OG Fifi on DPW episode one. I will look. <laughs> you will be Please. called OG Fifi. We are, we are sounding the sirens. <laughs> Fifi's watch has <laughs> <It's> begun. <laughs> So Rene Dupree says he's going to do Cafe de Rene next week. Yes, with Tori Wilson. You know, I talked about this before, man. These mm-hmm. talk show segments. <laughs> it's 2004 and I'm already over it. It is like, we still I mean, how do many did, these. How many did they have at this time? They had that one. They had Carlitos Cabana, Carlitos right? Cabana the Cutting Edge, uh, Peep Show. Jericho Show. Jer- yeah, Jericho. Uh, highlight Reel. Yeah, the Highlight uh, Reel. Dude, Who they else? still do this today with everybody. Yeah. Every they had Ambrose get a show. I hate wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. they they I st- for- it's oh just this by the numbers the one. Yeah, Ugh, by the numbers bullshit. Can't stand yeah. it. Uh, they showed a <laughs> for some reason they said, "Hey, I don't know if you guys knew it or not, but Big Show faced Eddie six months ago." <laughs> <laughs> and he whooped the dude. This honestly, this got me excited for the match, which is they shouldn't have shown this because the yeah. match did not live up to this. Fucking, they go back to October two thousand and three. You know you love them callbacks. This yeah. is all. <laughs> they show Big Show beating the fuck out of Eddie and like trashing his low rider. He like throws him onto it. Eddie is bleeding like a motherfucker. He's always and bleeding. Then, Big Show choke slams him on the top of it and sniffs him. It looked crazy. Going like the on here. biggest choke slam, too. Yeah. Not just like, like he. Oh, it was he tried brutal. to put him through it. Well, the uh, it, you know, six months ago they planned for Big Show to get the knee surgery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they finally got time to come back around to it. Yes, this was Obviously. the payoff. Exactly. Yeah. Six months ago, now nah, six month storyline. What can you say? I guess you're right. <laughs> Well, so backstage, is Jamie Noble is uh, <laughs> Jamie Noble's with Charlie Haas, and yeah. apparently Rico is debuting tonight on SmackDown. Yeah, I guess I guess he. Well, I'm guessing he was on Raw before, right? Was he? Was this? Is this I don't. Three minute warning. Be a, I guess. I think so, yeah. I don't okay. know. Yeah, someone look it up because did I, they did they always do a draft after Mania? Is that how it used I feel to like work? they did for a while? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. This doesn't feel like it's a big draft. Like I feel like there was only so, like it was a small one, but I don't really remember. Yeah, I'm not but, too uh, sure here, but so Rico yeah, Jamie is, Noble's uh, in there, and he's like warning Charlie Haas about Rico. Like pretty much, Jamie no- Jamie Noble says it without saying. It. He says, "Hey, you better you know you better watch out for him out there. He might he might, he might try to grab your cock." Yeah, he like, said <laughs> Rico is gay, and he said yeah. Charlie Haas said, yeah. "I don't know, man. That sounds kind of crazy." He said, "Yeah, he's gay," and he said, "Whoa." <laughs> that was essentially yeah, this whatever. segment. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let don't let Rico get you from behind. He <laughs> and they ran right. away. He said, "Don't let him get you from behind." Her. And they ran away. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have Nunzio bump into him and smack Charlie Haas's ass. <laughs> he says <laughs> something to him. I don't know. He said "Gabagoo" when he hit his ass. Like, Damn. <laughs> he said, "You." He said, "Don't make me look at the ah," and then smack his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker, yeah. Gabagoo. <laughs> I don't know what that they that never gets followed up on. They just said, Nunzio, go smack his ass real quick for us. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I was also trying to figure that out. But oh well, uh, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Rico was on Raw. He was uh, he was with Billy and Chuck, obviously, before. Um, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so then he comes to SmackDown, and he... Wait, why do I... Billy and Ch- Oh, I guess... Bill- was Billy and Chuck pre-draft? No. Billy and Chuck was 2002. Well, Billy and Chuck were on SmackDown, right? Oh, Billy I guess, and Chuck okay, was I guess 2002. It- that was a long time okay. ago. Okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on. 
<laughs> yeah, and then uh, three minute warning, yeah, was like two thousand two, two thousand three. So right, okay. Um, they turned his gimmick up tenfold here. It definitely felt like they were like, all right, uh, Billy and Chuck, and then your uh, your uh, specialist, uh, gay. You're gay. <laughs> You're gay. And and like, and everyone, er, all anyone that's gay to Vince is overtly oh, horny at all times, so no matter this what. This is this is just go be gold dust. I don't even remember it being this over the top. How ridiculous! Why was got so toned horny? down after this? I Maybe. feel like it did because it like how, how do you be gay? Show your thong, <laughs> okay? Yeah, like he was so match, gay this... that Charlie Haas threw up. <laughs> <laughs> That's like. That sounds very Vince to me too. It is the he's most gotta, Vince thing he's ever. Got a, he's got a, and then he sees him, and then he, he pukes. Everyone's gotta be disgusted at this. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he sees the gay, and he pukes. Yeah, yeah like I mean, Rico's what? with Rico is with Miss Jackie here. I don't remember why that happened. Uh, but yeah, this is Rico's SmackDown debut. Rico and Jackie's entrance is kind of awesome, too. They have like a runway, so that was kind of sweet. Michael Cole on commentary uh, says, On the street, we have a term for Charlie Haas. A oh, wankster. Yeah. <laughs> what? A wankster? Is that what yeah. he said? Yes. What? And then he says, he says, he says, it means somebody that complains a lot. And I was like, that's is not that what that means? Taz immediately is like, from the streets. <laughs> he immediately goes, the streets? <laughs> live in the suburbs. This this match is just Rico doing stuff. He's like massaging Charlie Haas's ass, and then he fucks him in the ass, and then he shows Charlie Haas's ass, and then he <laughs> grabs it and kisses him, and now, and then Jackie grabs Charlie Haas's ass, and everyone's just grabbing ass out here. Oh, grabbing you, ass you for guys, him, bro. You guys hear Taz on commentary? He's like, "Hey, I think you were in the same locker room as Rico earlier, making fun of Michael Cole." Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm sure that was fed to him too. Vince Price, ah, that's funny. This is just scuffed Razor Ramon hard gay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. I feel like Vince say, what's this? Razor Ramon? No, this is hard gay (laughs) Razor Ramon. (laughs) Let me get that. (laughs) So the finish is Charlie Haas is like weirded out. So he's on the outside and the referee's counting him. And then Charlie Haas is like about to get back in the ring. And then Rico like pulls up his thong and shows him that he has a thong. And he goes, and then Charlie Haas starts throwing up. He was so disgusted yeah. that he's not wearing tidy whities It ruined his whole life. Charlie <laughs> Haas was... I'm, is it, I feel like all wrestlers just wear thongs anyway, don't they? Charlie Haas probably had one on. I was actually probably, like... I thought it was a jock strap, and then he goes, I think it's a thong! And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck you. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Anyways, Rico's going to all Japan. We're done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this match was fucking uh, just strange. Yes, it was strange. And it was even stranger because every time I look a little bit to the right, I feel like I was watching Chad Gable versus Rico. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so much like Chad Gable here, it's crazy. Yeah, and they, yeah, he they, does. they're doing the same amount as they are with Chad Gable as they did with Charlie Oz. Yeah, they're going to have him come out throwing up next week. Yeah, he's going to come out as Doink. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna change his name from Shorty G to Little Bitch. <laughs> Dumb freak. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> they should definitely call him Little Freak. They should also put him in the menagerie. Shout out to <laughs> Shouts out to Stilts. You already know what it is. <laughs> Shout out to Crazy Steve. Oh, that'd be awesome. Little baby man Chad Gable and then two tall dudes on the Stilts. <laughs> put Chad Gable on Stilts. <laughs> He could probably still wrestle better than half the Raws there on stage. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Um, uh. So after we have that match, we go backstage again. JBL's talking to Big Show about how he's going to beat Eddie Guerrero. And Big Show said, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> JBL this- is like thanking him for doing this for him. But he says, you know what? I'll, I'll get you whatever you want. I'll get you a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't need any more pizza, John. <laughs> Yeah, so Big Show said, this ain't for you, bitch. He said, this match is for me. And he said, yeah. I'm going to quit either way. <laughs> <laughs> this match is this for place, me. This place sucks. <laughs> yeah, this match is for me to leave. Please, <laughs> Leave God. me alone, JBL, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Um, dude, we the, have a Mordecai the, Hype vignette. The big man. This. <laughs> tell me that he is not wearing Brody Lee's jacket. <laughs> he is. Yes. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I, mean, I remember, I dude, when I was young, I was so hyped yeah. for this guy. 
Me too, bro. I mean, it's, it sounds like a cool idea too. Like, it's I I mean, I, it's it's too crazy to work right off the rip, but like having like an opposite Undertaker, like, all right, I'm down. What the fuck? Cool. He had white eyebrows. I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, he went all in, and like, I feel like he had two matches, and he wrestled Scotty Tuati at the Armageddon, and then that was it. Didn't Damn. he wrestle at this Judgment Day or no? Or was it Judgment Day? Maybe it is Judgment Day. This I, next Judge Judgment Day was the next baby coming up, so I think yeah, he was. You're at right. The you're probably it is. Probably, I think he faces Scotty Tuati there too. What was his finish? Outside the, uh, his edge. Yeah, it was like uh, I don't. It was like the sit out. Yeah. Splash Mountain. It was yeah, Splash Mountain. <laughs> yeah, they would really put that over too. They're like, he's look like he's on a cross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mordecai had a real good catchphrase here. The time of reckoning is upon us. I have eaten thirty pizzas in the last thirty days. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must have skipped by that part. <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm fired up. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. You sure that was a guy. big show's promo? Mordecai's <laughs> <laughs> the so, man, dude. Mordecai, All right, I mean, so. yeah, I agree. Let's get him on DPW as well. If we can, where Mordecai, where you at, man? We gonna is run it, that giving it, back. <laughs> <laughs> Mordecai's selling houses right now, bro. Come back, Mordecai. We're running it back, yeah. dude. Uh, all yeah. right, so we get to uh, Big Show versus Eddie Guerrero, where it's the match where Big Show just wants to get the fuck out of here. He just wants to leave. <laughs> I was he surprised just, this wasn't the main event. Like, I figured this was the closest show. It's well, I guess because they needed time for all the other Big yeah, Show right. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> right. This, I mean. Even though this match was like, I wasn't crazy about this match. It really is what Paul said. It's just them heat, 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 lay on Eddie, bear a hug, bullshit. You know, I guess but you like, got to be appreciative of this era because, like, if we didn't have this bullshit era right here of just like, we wouldn't be garbage. Everything else. Well, I mean, yeah. it, we, we wouldn't have a lot of the wrestlers that we have yeah, right now. You're right. I feel like yeah, a lot of these guys true. are like, I don't want to do this. So they just did the other stuff and yeah. it, it got, you know, traction. Even in this match, though, you can tell how fucking good Eddie Guerrero is, man. He is mm. just so smooth with everything he does. It's insane. Uh, the match did go on for a bit. Uh, Eddie, like, went to the floor at one point and got a wrench, and he put it in Big Show's boot, and then the referee, like, was going to DQ <laughs> Big Show for him, and Eddie just rushed him. <laughs> that was awesome. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what is this? <laughs> uh, which, way yeah. did he go? which way did he go? <laughs> <laughs> So Eddie hits a low blow, frog splashes him, one, two, three, Big Show said, can we please take this home? Please. <laughs> it was a great frog splash, by the way. Yeah, I love how every time it. Eddie did the frog splash at this point, they're like, can he hit it from this distance? Eddie <laughs> clears it. He could have jumped out of the ring if he wanted to. Not only that, they have RVD on the same show doing frog splashes, and it's the same thing. How can he hit it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love how they both did the frog splash, but it's like, I in my head, when I was growing up, they were never the same move. I agree. They it's weird are. how that works. No. Um, Eddie starts singing, na 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 na, <laughs> na 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 na, and Big yep. Show's like, "Please don't do that, man." He's like, "Na na na na, <laughs> <laughs> please just and let me go." He's, po he's pulling his hair out. He's rubbing his face, just looking miserable. God, he looks so crazy here. He's so sad. <laughs> and then Eddie, I'm... Eddie gets the crowd chant, and the crowd's going, "Na na na na." Eddie gets the low rider. It's going, doo, 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 doo. "Na na na na." <laughs> Big <laughs> Show's like, just oh, miserable. Big Show's like, "Can I go?" <laughs> Please, my knee hurts so bad. Na 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 na. I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> I think Big Show walked with a ramp. He said, "Why are you laughing at me?" <laughs> Nobody's laughing, Big Show. They're saying, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie was doing the low rider thing. He was like, doo, 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 and then he backed up and he was still doing it. He was backing up out of the arena. <laughs> He's <laughs> nah, still nah, going, nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Dude, this rule, I love this little part. I wish, the, I wish they would have had him uh, have it on his horn of the low rider. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that would have ruled too. Yeah, Eddie was awesome here. I really did like this a lot. Yeah, it was cool. I agree. Um, so that is not the last you will see of the big show on the show. I will promise you that much. Sadly. <laughs> you'll actually see him here in just a second, but we have to get an RVD and Booker T promo in again. Booker oh, T. Yeah. You'll never Listen, get what Booker Rob, T said. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a raw guy. This I sucks. love raw. Why? I don't want to be here, bitch. <laughs> Rob's like, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> Booker, Booker saw Eddie backstage. He said, hey, man, it's good that you're the champion. The champion of the minor leagues. <laughs> Smackdown sucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he said, don't you say that. <laughs> yeah, that's 100% what he said, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, this is definitely his prototype DNA gimmick, and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so we cut back. Tori Wilson's backstage getting ready for nothing because she what? later <laughs> she, she later says that she is not booked on this show. <laughs> she was getting her fucking makeup and hair done for nothing. <laughs> Wasting my time. <laughs> she said... I think I will leave because I am not booked on this show. <laughs> I said, Damn. Thanks. Get the fuck out of here then. I'll fucking leave. It, it cuts to Tori and the, her hairdresser just laughing and Big Show slumping his way down the fucking corridor, looking sweaty and large, sad, <laughs> just sad. Thinking about and 31st walks- pizza. <laughs> he says, I want pizza, John. Uh, and then he he sees Tori and the hairdresser laughing. And he thinks he's laughing at us, at, at him. And he walks up to Tori and he gets in her face. He says, You laughing at me? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? And she's like, No, what the fuck? I'm not laughing at you, bitch. Tori like, you not- over delivered every line she was ever given. She was like, It was like a daytime soap opera where she was it was a- crazy. Dude, this whole. The- if you stitch all the Big Show Tory segments together, it's a fucking Z-list horror movie. <laughs> especially later on, yeah, it gets- yes, it gets it absolutely later on, especially. But yeah, so Big Show, he's like, you laughing at me, and she's like, no, what the fuck, and he's like, okay, I'm sorry, and then he leaves, and she goes, I think I'm gonna leave because I'm not <laughs> booked. <laughs> yeah, cool. good idea. Fuck out of here! What are you yeah. doing here? Yeah. Why well, flew you here? What are you getting paid yeah. for? Go you should have been on trampoline. You never know when your next match is going to yeah, be. Really. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, yeah. So after that, we get Mark Jindrak versus Spike Dudley. This was this whole thing threw me for a fucking loop here. So like, I gotta, was like weird. what was uh, they showed like the Spike Dudley Teddy Long thing? They were gonna have a match or something? Do you? Guys, recall that at I, all? What I was going honestly on with that? have no recollection of that whatsoever. I imagine Teddy Long was just talking shit, you know, as he does. Yeah, at this point, um, I really, you know, this Spike Dudley um, wasn't my favorite Spike Dudley, but yeah, He's he jacked, was bro. in very good shape here, um, incredibly good shape. But Mark yeah. Jindrak. I mean, how do you beat a guy with a fucking hard on? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So Mark Jindrak has the Lex Luger narcissist gimmick here where his entrance is he looks at himself in a mirror and they zoom in and it's just full cog, bro. What's your fucking pecker doing out here, man? Uh, that's the reflection bro, of perfection. As erection of erection, bro. <laughs> Mark Jindrak said, I'm going to whip out my Johnson. <laughs> He said he's the reflection of my erection. <laughs> Teddy Long said, nah, this is what I'm talking about. It zooms in. His pecker's <laughs> out, dude. Dick. Put, put your pecker away. Oh, my God. Well, anyways. He's, stand up, <laughs> stand up for Mark Jindrak, Teddy Long. Says, I really don't remember these two being together. He says. I don't either. <laughs> he says, Mark Jindrak will take us to the land of the dollar dollar bill, you <laughs> Teddy must have became GM close after this, right? It, it, you know, I, I don't really know. I don't know. Uh, I, I assume yes. I, I can't imagine I don't remember it. Teddy managing that long, to be honest. I, I don't remember Mark Jindrak chilling or doing anything that long. I'll be honest. I thought, I like this match a lot. It was short, but like Mark Jindrak did the fucking Okada dropkick to the top. I was like, wow. Dude, Mark and Jindrak. it was so good. Yeah. It was so good. I actually, yeah, I actually thought this. I was like, "Damn, you know, Mark Jindrak is kind of crazy." I fuck with this dude heavy here. Yes, yeah, Spike um, went for the Dudley dog and got caught with like the weird like spin out rock bottom that he did. I don't, I don't know what he called it. Probably it, it was like a, driver. <laughs> 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 Cog block. <laughs> yeah, the Johnson driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tally <Penis> whack bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Dick and balls. <laughs> I have a boner bomb. <laughs> My dick is hard. More dicks are coming. <laughs> Mark Jindrak's dick. <laughs> Baba booey, Baba booey. <laughs> I'm very, very <laughs> glad that we just no subtlety to this at all. This move is called my big fat. C- Hello, <laughs> 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 Bill, Bill, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. He said, I got a Spike Dudley in my pants. 
Oh, Spike, you're Dudley. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit. And then, yeah, so fucking Gendrick wins. <laughs> And That's Teddy why he Long wasn't in evolution. He would have a giant boner out there with flare. But <laughs> Triple H said, "No way!" Is he coming he here I'm with a- that meat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Over uh, here. He said, "I'm gonna triple, dude." If Triple H, if he was in evolution, he would have cut the Randy Orton from one of him. He said, "I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna crush this cock into a diamond." <laughs> 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 oh my oh, these god! All these drug reviews turned into cock. Ugh. So yeah, Teddy, uh. so he wins, and then Teddy Long jumps into his arms, and he's pointing at his arm, and then at his face, and then the abs. Uh. And his, <laughs> his fucking fucking thing he is says, out, bro. Look at this. There's fucking no thing. way he didn't look in the mirror before he came out and said, "Cool." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know Vince on? I was like, ah. <laughs> Play with it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and then Matt Morgan stole this for TNA gimmick. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what he Absolutely. did. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, shout out, shout out to Marco Corley. God, Mark Jindrak, <laughs> we want to book you to do this exact gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. Fuck, dude. Yeah, okay. I actually love the reflection of erection. I do. That, erection. Yeah, reflection. that works perfect. Thank you so much, Mark. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what the first promo is going to be a DPW. My name is Mark Jindrak. And I have the biggest <laughs> cock here with all due respect. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. God. That's and then awesome. we get more fucking Booker T and RVD hype. Yo, Rob, I hate it here. <laughs> Smackdown <place> sucks. sucks. <laughs> Rob, the ratings are horrible here. <laughs> what are you doing, so bro? Look at all these matches. They suck. <laughs> bro, you see that last guy? <laughs> <laughs> His cock out. Yeah, yeah, Booker's like, show. what the fuck? Tell me I did not just see that. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, well, it's only a few years later until Vince sees John Cena backstage and he goes, "What's good in the hood?" <laughs> oh no, no, no! <laughs> and, you know, just hold it down. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. That's that's the guys. <laughs> it shows. Uh, it shows raw rebound, and they go. Bro. It, this is exactly right after Booker T says SmackDown sucks, and then it shows the and raw th- rebounds. And, Damn, raw is better. <laughs> raw <laughs> is better. Yes. Dude, it fucking like this Raw looks like the best Raw ever. <laughs> it show, truly was. They show Foley and Orton hype with, while showing like fucking IWA Japan footage. Dude, like, I was like, fuck? whoa, I can't believe yeah. they showed the King of the Deathmatch show. This is dope. I was like, what the fuck? And then they show Johnny Nitro and Edge both injured. <laughs> yeah. Edge, Edge spears them. Then they show uh, like Bischoff and Flair, and Flair is going to get a, a match with Shelton at Backlash. And then Flair goes to leave the office, and Shelton's behind the door. He says, surprise, and hits him. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Uh, and then Jericho and Trish. Uh, Jericho just talking about Trish liking rough sex. And he says, once a bitch, always a bitch. All right, cool. This is a real, I'm sure Trish really liked doing this segment. Trish, you're a whore and a <laughs> slut, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank may you, I may I have another. another. <laughs> At least she gets the come up. It's on Jericho and uh, that's true. Yeah, at least fuck Christian. That's sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. Christian rules. And then they show Shawn Michaels and Orton have a match, uh, which looked cool from the video that they showed. Yeah. And Shawn Michaels wins one, two, three, setting up for the rematch from WrestleMania twenty. Uh, Triple H versus Shawn Michaels versus Stephen Richards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> I would yeah. love to be watching that instead. Can we watch that instead? What that the- raw? Yeah, that raw. Is yeah, let's actually just switch over right now. <laughs> <laughs> the um the I think they had two so each show had their own pay per views at this time right yes so, so Raw had backlash Raw, Raw had the, backlash Raw had <laughs> back, <laughs> I think backlash was next and then Judgment Day wasn't until May sixteenth that was a SmackDown oh, okay. show though right huh that was a SmackDown show Judgment Day Smack yeah that's the SmackDown one May sixteenth yeah yeah so that backlash was the Orton and Katniss fucking blow away joint right yeah all time yeah that's an all timer bro yeah that's awesome. So, I mean, yeah, Raw was better. Booker was right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, after the Raw rebound, Big Show finds oh. Tori Wilson backstage <laughs> as she's trying to leave because she wasn't booked. Big Show finds her and goes, hey, wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> 
like a dumb cartoon character just realizing what happened. Yeah. Uh, so Big Show no, obviously happened. is not happy with Tori. I, she had her bags. Doing which nothing. I don't know. She brought her gear bag. I guess you always bring your gear, but she definitely wasn't booked. Uh, yeah. And she's like going to her car and Big Show says, tell me you were laughing at me. I already Bitch. told you that. <laughs> <laughs> tell, but tell me for real. Also, do you think I'm handsome? <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking guy's getting pissed and he punches her car window and it doesn't break <laughs> and he does it again still doesn't break he says mask off and he boots the, fucking, <laughs> he boots the windows out <laughs> all I can think about here was the time Goldberg busted his hand all wide open going to the glass he said I'm not good don't gimmick this <laughs> <laughs> okay Stupid. yeah I was like, all right, shit. Well, you ended up breaking everything all around the car. He, this segment yeah, went 10 he, minutes too long, it felt like. <laughs> yeah, oh, God, yeah. Yeah, fucking, so Big Show yeah, starts just, crying. Yeah, Big, Show, <laughs> Big Show breaks out the fucking window, like the driver's side window, and then sticks his ass in it. <laughs> I was like, what's he going to shit in her He just car? farted real loud. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> something going to happen. He says, you're laughing this. <laughs> I think so. about to have it. <laughs> Skew. <laughs> <laughs> then he uh he fucking hammer fists the back window and breaks it out. He double chops the windshield. He says, "Am I funny?" <laughs> am I no, starts am I funny? He starts no, crying. bro. Nobody said you're funny. What the fuck? Why don't you listen? He says, "Am I funny? Am I funny? How funny? How funny? Like a clown? <laughs> Do I have you too?" <laughs> Big Show is straight off a of fucking Degrassi Next Generation. This dude was all <laughs> over the place. He's so dramatic, bro. Calm down, Paul. <laughs> then Big Show says, "I'm gonna flex on you. I'm gonna flip this car." And Tori's like, "Please, it's a rental. Please don't do this." <laughs> That's my car. He flips the car. He goes, <laughs> and Tori goes, ah. well, <laughs> she she runs away and then does the horror movie trip while Big Show's doing the fucking Michael Myers walk. I wrote that down too. I said, "Why is he walking like Michael Myers?" <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Ugh. So yeah, he's uh, Big Show is the Joker. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? I was like, "Wow, this is crazy." They really stretched this to get to this Kurt Angle spot at the end of the show. I was like, damn, I don't know. I'm what's telling going you, on. bro, it really feels like they wrote a whole show around how to build Big Show up and then tear him down. Make him look like a piece of shit. My big He's fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I am. You're lucky Sean was uh found God or else he would have buried you here too. Stupid. <laughs> you big fat piece of shit. <laughs> You're gonna lose to me tonight, buddy. Move, idiot. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, after Big Show flips the car, we get to Booker T versus Rob Van Dam. <laughs> I love that sentence. Uh, so, they shouldn't have built this up. They're going to do all this. I'll be honest with you. It, this was RVD doing all the classics. That's all it was. It was it already got all of his shit in. Uh, crowd which loved was it. cool. Yeah. Or the, the hair crowd, dryer. Fu- I mean, fuck two. us, right? Because like, the crowd ate this shit up. Um, it would have been fine if... I actually liked most of it. Like They were, you know... They knew each they other, going. obviously, because they teamed before, so they were reversing sure. each other's stuff, and I was like, okay, this mm-hmm. is pretty dope. And then, like, towards the end, I'm like, oh, they're not going to have a finish. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, and this is it. A finish they did not. Booker, like, hits him with a super kick, and RVD does the Andre in the ropes. And then, like, Booker's, like, whooping his ass, and Booker, like, full-on kicks RVD in the fucking head, <laughs> mouth or nose or something. Probably giving him a receipt. I'm sure Rob hit him a few <laughs> times in this one. Yeah, you're probably right. RVD looks like there a was a scorpion kick muddle. here where it was pretty snug ski. I was like, yeah, oh, okay, you're right. right. He said, <laughs> take yeah. this sucker. <laughs> yeah, he started bleeding. Uh, Rob did. So Booker T loses by DQ because he wouldn't stop whooping RVD's ass. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is like exactly what WWE would do. They built this up all night, four promos deep. They're like, yeah, anyways, we're not going to have a finish. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming they have a match at the pay. Oh, no. The pay per view is like in a. Like two months after this, I don't know what the fuck they do with this. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Yeah, are they? Are these two even on the card for that pay per view? <laughs> they probably finish yeah. it next week. So yeah, they do this Booker T beat down the referee counts to five. It's a DQ, and then RVD's beaten up. And how does Booker T top it off with the motherfucking spit of Rudy? <laughs> <laughs> spit of Rudy and it goes backstage. This rules. <laughs> yeah, just a heated moment, and Booker T pops a spit of Rudy for the boys. Um, so, so it's Undertaker versus Booker T at Judgment Day. How the fuck does, all right, it would just already go fuck yourself. Yeah, RVD's not on the show. He's not even on the show. He's not even on Judgment Day. Oh, wait, yeah, he has his <laughs> Rey Mysterio oh, and RVD. Oh, he's in a tag match. 
Oh, so they just switched it and had... Who was it? Ray and RVD versus who? The Dudley's. Dudley Boys. Oh, okay. Team 3D. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, Mark no. Jindrak was in the dark match. Who'd he face? Oh, uh, he was on Sunday Night Heat. He faced Funaki. Oh, shit. Yeah, he beat him up. <laughs> Is that more... <laughs> run down... Just run run down the Judgment Day card. You wanna do it, Tony? Just run down the result. Just run down the whole show. You wanna do it, Tony? Yeah, uh, yeah Jindrak defeated Funaki. Three minutes. Uh, Ray Mysterio RVD defeated the Dudley Boys. Was Tory that tag Wilson. titles or no? Uh, just tag team match. Okay. Uh, tag champions were who? Was it Billy Gunn and Hardcore Holly? Were they Charlie the Haas and Rico the were the tag champions. They were, oh, they were the champs going into it? Okay. They made it. Charlie Haas and Rico. Okay. okay. Tori and Don Marie wrestled. Tori yeah, won. Yeah, uh, shout out to Don Marie real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me stop you real quick. Yeah. Shout out to Don Marie. That's for true. True, true. All right, keep going. Much, honestly, big respect to Don Marie. She's an underrated talent. Uh, absolutely. True. Mordecai defeated Scotty Too Hot Hell in his yeah, debut. he did. Uh, Charlie House and Rico, the champions, defeated Billy Gunn and Hardcore Holly. Don't remember that team. What a I'm team. Sure it was good. Yeah. It's been a long Chavo, time. Chavo, with Chavo Classic, I guess. I don't know if Chavo Classic at this time, but he's listed as Chavo Jack. The, defeated okay. Jekyllin for the Cruiserweight title. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> John Cena defeated Rene Dupree for the U.S. Championship. Okay. I think VP was probably there. <laughs> Thank you. One of the Fifi's. Uh, the Undertaker defeated Booker T, and JBL defeated Eddie Guerrero via DQ for the WWE Championship. Dude, Jacqueline cool. won the Cruiserweight title on SmackDown before this show. Really? Yep. Oh, shit. That's crazy. And then just loses it right after the pay Yeah, review? Chavo wins it back, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? And I don't I know. I remember her being Cruiserweight champion. I remember that. But it, it, it was I only I just remember her winning it and I don't remember much of a reign. But it doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound like she had much of a reign. So. <laughs> Wait, um, couple days. Do you know what happened with this JBL and Eddie feud after this? Because this Judgment Day match ended in DQ, so obviously it's not over. I figured they, they just this keep out going longer. on with it, right? Yeah. Huh? I was yeah. gonna say, do they keep going with this? Because JBL eventually wins a belt from Eddie, right? Yeah, that's how it all plays out. He didn't win yeah. it there, right? No, Eddie's. Got the DQ and then the blood thing. And I think they had like a... Oh, here we go. Here we go. At the Great American Bash, Eddie Guerrero defended the belt against JBL in a Texas oh, bull rope match. That's right. JBL won after Kurt Angle, who was the general manager of SmackDown, reversed the decision. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Then uh, on an episode of SmackDown, Eddie Guerrero pulled a switcheroo with Shannon Moore, who was wrestling as El Gran Luchadore. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, Is yes. that the same Great American Bash? Where uh, Paul Bearer gets like killed. <laughs> uh, it's the one with Tori Wilson as Uncle Sam. I think that might be it. I think that's no, it it's is. Like, yeah, yeah, because because the Undertaker Taker versus the Dudley's. Dudley Boys. Yeah, the... yeah, and like fucking, it's like if if Taker wins, if Taker loses, then they like they bury Paul Bearer in cement. And oh, then he Undertaker... was sitting in the cement. Yeah, and then Undertaker wins, and then he kills Paul Bearer. <laughs> I remember that. I what yeah, the fuck? it was it was the concrete crypt match. I don't. Why? Okay, did that ever get explained? Why is that never uh, in the while, games? While we're here, that's a good question. Well, that. probably because I I guess Barry Live was in. I don't know why that one been. Yeah, why the fuck did Undertaker kill Paul Bearer there? Die, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Sick of you, bitch! <laughs> I don't remember oh, that. Oh, dude, someone, someone will tell me. I'm sure. Luther Reigns. Oh, a horseshoe? My man comes through. <laughs> oh, shit. Luther Reigns and Mark Jindrak become best friends. Bro, I had peas before. <laughs> <laughs> That's an all-time segment. God, they had some, oh, they had some great guys here. All right, let's get back to this night down here. There you go. It's, well, it's one seg left, so it's, yeah. but it's the seg. It is the seg. So, it cuts backstage after Booker T and RVD. Booker T is a spin rooney and then it's Kurt Angle running to his locker room for some reason. And it cuts backstage, and a producer goes to Kurt Angle, and he says, Kurt. Kurt, 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 Big Show has got Tori on the ledge. Kurt goes, what? Oh. The ledge? <laughs> not, not the ledge. I was like, what the fuck? Is that like a thing? Like, it's like the ledge is just here. I, just... Don't, I don't have memory of this SmackDown ledge, but I wish they would have kept it. We got to have a DPW ledge. Because <laughs> Kurt knew exactly who he was. He goes, no, no way, the ledge. <laughs> so the guy starts running. Kurt follows Take me him. to that son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 it cuts to the most dramatic, like, undershot of Big Show with Tori Wilson. You think I'm handsome, huh? You think I'm handsome now, huh? <laughs> Am I she funny goes, to you now? She goes, funny yes. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> and then he, then he randomly goes, liar! 
<laughs> I said, okay. And then Kurt finally shows up and he, he's yelling. He says, show! Get away from her, you big jerk! <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that down, too. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt does not care about Tori Wilson whatsoever. He cares about his job being lost if Tori Wilson dies on his watch. So he's like, I like Yeah. I like that Kurt had to say, hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> like, <as> if, <laughs> why the fuck would Big Show wait for you? One second, guy. Please don't kill her. I'll be right <laughs> there. One sec. <laughs> Kurt makes his way up to the ledge. I'm not sure how you get Smack up there, ledge. but he he got a SmackDown ledge with TM. Uh he got up there and Big Show. Just turns his attention to him. He says, ah, <laughs> just lifts him up and choke slams fucking Kurt Angle off the SmackDown ledge. And God, you had the visual that they like, uh, we've, I feel like each of us have posted this on our Twitter by this point. <laughs> but, like, it is incredible. The, sh- the shot they show of Kurt Angle dead on the ground, one leg broken, <laughs> blood pouring out of the back of his head is just, I, like, I don't know why, but like, I mean, maybe because it was a ridiculous segment, but I remember that vividly. See, like, where I was when I watched that happen. Because it was just so... I remember thinking, what the fuck? Kurt Angle <laughs> is dead. He was not moving. He had blood from yeah. the back of his head. His leg was broken. That was how the show ended. The show ended with big with Kurt Angle looking like he died. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was awesome. that. That was awesome. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I thought this was... I thought the way they did this was so fucking ridiculous. Like, this was, was like incredibly ridiculous uh this leads to kurt angle in the wheelchair later on though so that's uh at least that oh, leads to something good that's the injury that you have from cracking your skull open and breaking your leg yeah yeah he's in a wheelchair but it turns out he was faking the wheelchair <laughs> he was, he was it's like kevin nash where he took the took the uh blanket <laughs> off his leg and it was Stands like, up. <laughs> yes i can't believe it yeah this also leads to one of the greatest kurt angle segments of all time where he says uh i can't even have sex with my wife <laughs> <laughs> Right. Hell yeah. Kurt, Kurt rules, very bro. horny. Yes, he was incredible. Um, and yeah, so Kurt Angle dies on SmackDown and then undies later R.I.P. on. And, and Big then, Show so leaves. Right, yeah, right after this, Big Show goes and gets knee surgery, and I believe he comes back in August. Yeah, he actually is, came back quick from all... knee surgery. That's a pretty surprising. Yeah. Does so, he come back August, on SmackDown I, Did then, he come or... back in summer? Like, SummerSlam was in August. I don't know if he came back then or not. Yeah, I think he, I don't know if he was in a match. I think he came back and did something, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, Probably overall, I mean, it was okay. I mean, like I said, all the matches are kind of the same, but um, yeah. a lot of the backstage stuff was pretty neat. Mordecai yeah, the, Heisman, yeah. The, the choke slam, like, I, you, if you haven't seen that segment, just you got to look for that alone. Like, that's, God, that shit's ridiculous. <laughs> and then also the look up the wheelchair. What ledge? The ledge. The SmackDown ledge that Kurt Angle knew exactly where it was at. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I can't believe that. I'm a that little sus, bitch. honestly. Maybe we should look into what Kurt Angle was doing. <laughs> what do you know about that ledge, Kurt? I feel like he was just tossing people off the ledge. <laughs> like, a, like a cartel job or something. Like the WrestleMania 19 fucking spots. <laughs> it's like uh, an Aqua Teen, like Carl's pool got so messed up that like the mafia started throwing dead bodies into it. <laughs> yes. That's what Kurt was doing here. He was just awesome. throwing dead bodies on the ledge. 